In, a, in the Windy City, at the turn of our present century, you could find me, perched on a bar stool with the tools of my trade, a cash box and an ashtray, framed by 300 hangers, each with its own tiny ticket. Every time the weather turned, this was my world. I was a downtown Chicago coat check girl. Oh, we've been here. Since women came of age, since men traded drinks for attention. As soon as people stop staying in, they go out and wear coats and pay to have them hung up by someone else, someone like me. Because we do what we must when rent is late, because it's better than corporate, because I look great in stilettos, sweetie, and hey, free martinis. My employers were nocturnal creatures, men with names like Dino, T-Bone, Casey, and Pipes. Men in charge of keeping the peace in a place that invites chaos. What do you get when you cross drugs, booze, thugs, and the women who love them? Bedlam. And it was welcomed. I was no exception. The tip to lip gloss ratio was in direct proportion. The shorter my skirt, the better the compensation. I learned the velvet ropes, the language of nightlife. Never lost a coat, never lost a fight. Each coat, each week, was a penny saved. However grueling, the exchange. Do, Todd, Chad, totally left with that shit. Yeah, man, let's roll, it's just a sec. Look, babe, I lost my ticket, but uh, <clears throat> I gotta get my jacket. It's a black leather one. <laughs> and what ho, the women. <laughs> Somewhere in heaven, grandmothers weep, for their darling daughters have given birth to monsters, and they looked so sweet once in diapers. Now their breasts are bare as they dance on the bar. Now their lips speak curses. Now they snatch each other's purses. Now they drink perfume and eat cocaine seven days a week and twice on a Monday. Girl, what's up? What's going on? Somebody fucking stole my bag and I'm fucked. Candy! Mine's the pink baby one with the fur on the collar. I can't give you a tip because my money's like, <laughs> al cente, but I'll give you all my Vicodin. Is that OK? Yes. <laughs> and somewhere around 3 AM, while sane people were sleeping, <laughs> I keep smoking, look down at my fingers, grubby with filthy money, but before I could fall into crisis or cry rivers that the world had come to this, a shot glass would fly past my head. Or bouncers would draw blood from more drunk men. Or I'd get hit on again and would duck or cover, for there was nowhere to run. The beat beat itself into the walls, and the revelers spun themselves into tar, and I receded into the shadows, a spy for a better life. <laughs>